Kia ora all, welcome to Mr Quiz, the channel where we play quizzes. Great to see you again. Um, you'll see we're back on Wiki Quiz today. Uh, we've got another great general knowledge quiz by uh, Phil Brooks, who, um, yeah, writes some pretty awesome quizzes. So thanks, Phil. I very much appreciate it. Um, we've done this twice before. Uh, hopefully you guys know the drill by now. Uh, I will put the link in the description. I think you have until Sunday to play this, so um, give yourself the weekend. Uh, we'll do it quickly, sooner rather than later if you can't. Otherwise, follow along and let me know what score you've got in the comments below. Uh, speaking of knowing the drill, unfortunately my neighbours are doing some renovations in their apartment next door, so if you hear some ambient drilling noise or banging noise, um, that's on them. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really avoid it because they're doing it uh, all day, every day, so it's that or no videos at all. So. Such is life. Uh, anyway, let's move on. Uh, so we've got 50 questions as usual. Let's aim for anything over 25 is going to be a good score. 30 would be amazing, I think, given how um, difficult some of these quizzes are. Okay. Uh, Cup of Rosie. Is Cockney rhyming slang for which hot beverage? I know this is tea. Um, this is Cockney rhyming slang because it's uh, Rosie Lee, so it becomes tea. Uh, what colour is the letter E in the eBay logo? Gosh, I don't know. We don't really use eBay in New Zealand. I've never really used it elsewhere either. I think it's red, blue, green, and yellow, right? I don't think it's yellow. I don't think it's blue. I think red is probably the best guess here. It's one of those things I probably should learn, just like learning the colours of the Google logo. They seem to pop up in quizzes quite a bit. Okay, the sporting terms chip and charge and foot fault are used in which sport? That would be tennis. In which organ of the human body would you find the conjunctiva and retina? That would be the eye. Uh, which artist won the Eurovision Song Contest for Ireland in 1970 with all kinds of everything? I have no idea. Um, bang, 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 bang. Hopefully that doesn't show up in the video. Uh, I don't know any Northern Irish or any Irish artists uh, from the 70s. Let's try Van Morrison. It seems extremely unlikely, but I can't think of anyone else who uh, would fit the bill. Uh, Mount Elbert in Colorado is the highest point of which mountain range? That presumably that's going to be the Rockies. Now, I haven't heard of it, but uh, hearing that it's in Colorado um, makes me think it's going to be the Rockies. Which novel by H.G. Wills opens with a chapter entitled The Strange Man's Arrival? Well, it's not War of the Worlds, I would think. Because it's more with aliens rather than strange men. Time Machine? That's what H.G. Wills, isn't it? Yeah, let's do the, oh gosh, uh, let's do the time machine. It's the only one I can really think of. Uh, which singer played uh, Jareth the Goblin King in the 1986 fantasy film Labyrinth? That would be David Bowie. What are the books is um, H.G. Wells written? I can't think of any. Anyway, let's go with it. According to the book of Revelation, the four horsemen of the apocalypse are war, Famine, pestilence, and I was going to say plague, but that's probably pestilence. Or famine, pestilence. Is it death? Or famine, pestilence, and yeah, let's go with death. That sounds about right. Which river in New York is spanned by the Brooklyn and Manhattan bridges? There's the East River and there's the Hudson River. I think it might be the East River because it's on... I think the Hudson might be the one between uh, Manhattan and New Jersey, and the East River presumably is on the east side of Manhattan, uh, which is between Manhattan and Brooklyn. But 50-50 uh, shot with that one. Uh, which Andrew Lloyd River musical features the song Memory and Rum Tum Tugger? That would be Cats. Uh, Bridget Bishop was the first person brought to court in the witch trials of 1692 in which Massachusetts Bay Colony? Salem? Is Salem the name of the colony? Uh, the colony? I presume it was. I mean, it could be like Jamestown, but that seems... Jamestown, I think, was quite a bit earlier. 
Uh, which Norse god wrote a chariot drawn by giant goats called Tooth Grinder and Tooth Nasher? That would be Odin. I actually had this question in a quiz uh, recently, but it was actually which um, what type of animals did Norse uh, pulled Norse's chariot uh, pulled Od Odin's chariot in Norse mythology, and we, none of us got it. Um, but now I know that it is goats. Uh, what is the only word in the NATO phonetic alphabet that contains eight letters? Let's think. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India, uh, Juliet, Lima, Mike. November, N O V N O V E M B E R. Yep, November. Uh, which cartoon family had a dog called Astro? That would be the Jetsons. I feel like we're off to a pretty good start with this, but as we know, the questions do get uh, progressively harder as they go along. Uh, the capital cities Ljubljana, Bern, and Stockholm are all found in countries that all begin with what letter? That would be the letter S. Slovenia, Switzerland, and Sweden. Uh, in Sir Henry Rayburn's famous oil painting, what activity is the Reverend Robert Walker doing on Duddings Tunnel's lock? I'm not familiar with the painting. Um, obviously, the, this lock is somewhere in Scotland, presumably. Uh, I guess it could be Northern Ireland as well, or Ireland in general. Um, what are some options here? Boating is an option, fishing is an option swimming i suppose but he's doing it on the lock not in the lock let's go with fishing it seems a bit more um likely than boating in 2020 which british food company relaunched their turkey twizzlers after a hiatus of 15 years Ugh. i'm not sure um i couldn't even name any british food companies to be honest um which is quite bad It's just one of those things you don't really like take any um, notice of when you're at the supermarket. Let's say Greg's. I think it's unlikely to be um, Greg's, so it's probably a supermarket product, but I can't think of anything else. Greg's is kind of like a pastry shop in the UK. They serve sausage rolls and pies and stuff like that. Pasties. Uh, in netball, how many seconds are allowed between catching the ball and making a pass? That is three, I think, from my knowledge of netball. Uh, I played it a little bit socially every now and then. Um, and yeah, I think you can catch it, stop, one, two, three. Yeah, that makes sense. Fun game, by the way. Underrated. Um, should be more popular. Uh, which English football club won the Premier League title under manager Kenny Dalglish in 1995? That is Blackburn Rovers. Famously one of the only clubs outside the um, elite of English football to win it. Um win the Premier League, up until Leicester won it about four or five years ago. Uh, which stimulant was discovered in a sample of coffee beans by the German, German chemist Friedli Brunger in 1819? Presumably that is going to be caffeine. In which African country is the Skeleton Coast National Park? That is Namibia. Really ticking along good here. Uh, yeah, Namibia seems awesome. It'd be nice, <coughs> great to visit someday. Um, which fragrant herb traditionally added to roast meat dishes? Uh, derives its name from the, from the Latin for Jew of the Sea. Fragrant herb. What do you add to like roast meat? You add like rosemary or thyme or ba not really basil so much. It's likely to be a long time. Well, what's the Latin word for sea? Like ma, right? So something that ends with ma. can't think of anything. Let's come back to that one and do it at the end. Uh, Money Never Sleeps was the subtitle of the 2010 sequel with which Oliver Stone directed film, Wall Street. Uh, which Arthur Miller play opens with Willie Loman returning to his house after driving for four hours from Yonkers? I think Willie Loman was in Death of a Salesman. I need to brush up on my um, playwrights because every time I get a question about plays it's always we just answer Arthur Miller or Death of a Salesman um, I think you'd better have a, like a wider knowledge of that uh, what was the pen name of the French writer philosopher and spy Francois Marie Arouet 1694 to 1778 uh, is this a woman hmm 
don't know who that would be then. I'm just going to toss down Madame Bovary. It's probably wrong, but I can't think of any other famous French woman who even like would remotely fit in that period. Unless it's... I was thinking it could be Voltaire, and maybe this is not a woman's name. Yeah, let's go with Voltaire. At least I don't know if the dates fit up, but at least I know he kind of fits that. And it's less of a wild guess than um. Uh, yeah, it's less of a wild guess than just throwing out a random name. This is an interesting one. Known as Yaku in Japan, which sport is played at the Fukuoka Dome? What's popular in Japan? Sumo, but sumo is a Japanese word already. Horse racing, but I don't think horse racing is played so much as raced. I was thinking this could be baseball, maybe. It's pretty popular in Japan. Football, presumably, is something else. Yeah, I, I'm happy with baseball as an answer. Uh, what is the stage name of the German trance DJ Andre Tannenberger? No idea. Um, Dead Mouse is Norwegian, or is uh, Dutch, right? Avicii is Swedish. I don't know my modern DJs. Maybe he's not that modern. Um, let's go with Tiesto. I've heard that's a name. Uh, for what event would you employ the services of a Duala? Oh, I've heard that before. Duala. Oh, I've heard it before because it's a city in Cameroon. That's why. Mountain climbing use Sherpas. Let's come back to that because something might pop into our head. Uh, from 1932 to 68, the former economics professor Antonio de Oliveira Salazar was Prime Minister and Dictator of which country? That was Portugal. Looks like he's hard at work, it's like a busy bee there. Uh, the 1887 novel Alan Quatermain, about a professional big game hunter, is the sequel to which novel? That is King Solomon's Mines. King Solomon's Mines. Uh, Alan Quatermain is the main character in that novel. He was also in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Or, yeah, that's right, the one with um, the movie with uh, Sean Connery. Sean Connery's last role, I think, actually. Uh, which island archipelago, formerly known as the Isle of Devils or the Onion Patch, is considered to be the inspiration for Shakespeare's The Tempest? Oh, this is an interesting question. Isle of Devils or the Onion Patch? Island archipelago. Um, presumably it's somewhere in Europe. Isle of Devils. Well, I was thinking Malta, but it's probably a bit too built up. Could be like the Orkneys or the Shetlands, maybe. Or like the Azores or the Canary Islands or the... Hmm... I know the idea about the Tempest is they kind of it's the only Shakespeare novel which mentions America. They call it the New World, I think. Um, so it might be somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. Onion patch, though. That's strange. Let's go with the Azores. Um, Giancarlo plays Esposito plays Antine Costello, the di dictator of Yara, in the sixth installment of which video game series? No idea. Um, <laughs> my usual answer with these is to go with GTA. Um, I guess it could be. Although, why would they have like a dictator in GTA? But it would fit. Like, there's been like enough installments of Grand Theft Auto. Could also be like Far Cry or something like that. Yeah, let's go Far Cry. That deals with more like um, jungle fighting and stuff, I think. What type of building is known in German as a Volkenkratzer? Okay, so Volk means people. Like Volkswagen means people's wagon. Sorry, my neighbour was still banging, 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 in case you see me jumping. Uh, I was going to say town hall, but that's a Rathaus in German. So maybe like a... It's not a church, it's not a train station. It's not a university, not a school. Type of building. 
come back to that one. Uh, what song title has been a hit for John Denver, Lenny Kravitz, and Tones and I? Oh, gosh, I don't, I've never heard of Tones and I, so that's not going to be very helpful. John Denver and Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz, what did he do? American Woman. Um, I've got songs on my head which I want to sing at hum, but I'm not going to do it. Um, See You Again, is that the name of the song? Uh, what about John Denver? Country Roads, but that doesn't, not going to be a Lenny Kravitz song. Um, Leaving on a Jet Plane. Calypso. Uh, what's that one about from Night in the Forest? Like, you sing to my senses, like a night in the forest. Uh, okay, come back to that one. <laughs> uh, which Servine titled film won the Oscar for Best Picture at the 1979 Academy Awards? Servine. Oh... I mean, if I know what Servine was, it would be helpful. Like, obviously it's got an animal in the title. Like, Dog Day Afternoon? Or One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Rocky was earlier, like a couple of years earlier. Both the Godfathers fathers won Best Picture, but they were earlier in the 70s. Yeah, let's do One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Not sure if that one best picture, but I'm going to go for it. Uh, the Mat Mons Volcano and Diana Chasma Gorge are surface features on what planet? Don't know. Let's guess Mars. I know Mars has... Um, does Mars have volcanic activity? Potentially, right? Uh, the Sobers Tessera Trophy is a cricket trophy awarded to the winners of the Test Series between West Indies and which other country? Okay, well, I knew Gary Sobers played for the West Indies. Uh... I've never heard of Tessera. My guess is it's probably going to be England, just because England seems to have a trophy with a lot of teams. Um, uh, so, I mean, it's going to be England, South Africa, Zimbabwe. It's not New Zealand. It could be Australia. And you've also got like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka, but it's not likely to be any of those. Or maybe Sri Lanka. Could be a Sri Lankan name, Tessera. I think the most likely thing is probably it's somebody who played for the West Indies and England, or lived in both countries. Um, England is the percentage guest here. In 1457, which King of Scotland banned the playing of both golf and football in an attempt to encourage archery practice? I don't know, but when we're not sure about Kings of Scotland before... Uh, James the sixth and James the first. We go for a James, so let's go with James the fourth. Uh, what is the name of the wife of the Trojan Prince Hector, as portrayed in paintings by David and De Chirocchio? I don't know this. Hector was played by what Eric Banner in the movie Troy, right? I don't know her name. Um, let's go with a Greek name, Cassandra. Which Ukrainian-born Brazilian author wrote the novels Aqua Viva and The Hour of the Star? I don't know. This is falling off the... Off the... Uh, uh, yeah, falling off the face of the earth, this quiz now. My response is not the quiz itself. The quiz is good. By the way, in quizzing, we have what's called... Um, like, in competitive quizzing, there's uh, different levels of questions. So normally you rate the questions uh, one to four. So questions in the first half of this quiz are going to be like ones and twos, and they're going to get harder as they go along. It's basically an attempt to make sure that when you're quizzing on Skype or in person or whatever, that the questions are balanced so that no one gets um, a harder set than the other person. Interesting. Uh, which Russian figure skater was the first woman to land the quadruple toe top? I don't know any Russian figure skaters, I'm sorry. Um... Uh, let's just go with the Russian name, Safina. Which mountain in the Arondax was Vice President T uh, Teddy Roosevelt's climbing when the message was sent that McKinley was dying? 
don't know whether you're at Den Rocks are. Um, I don't know. Let's just say Mount St. Helens. I don't think it's anywhere close to right, but it's the only mountain I can really think of. Um, which Italian composer's Adagio was reconstructed by Remo Giazzotti from a scrap of paper that he found in the ruins of the bombed-out Saxon State Library in Dresden? Okay. <sighs> Name an Italian composer, pretty much, because uh, I don't know the answer to this. Uh, Pacini, Verdi... Um, the others. Uh, let's go with Verdi. Uh, which French perfume house markets the Lee Soleberg and Citrus Butty Kanga fragrances? I don't know. Let's go with the French perfume house. Chanel. Uh, oh, it could be Yves Saint Laurent, right? Let's stick with our first answer, Chanel. Uh, which city in Israel is according to tradition where St. George was martyred and is the nearest city to Ben Gurion Airport? Ugh. I mean, the easy answer here would be to say Jerusalem. But it could be Tel Aviv, it could be Jaffa, it could be Haifa. So... Let's just say Jerusalem. Because if it, I say something funky and it's Jerusalem, then I'll be upset. Actually, let's go with Tel Aviv. I think there's more flights which go into Tel Aviv than Jerusalem. I could be wrong. If it's Jerusalem, I'll take my lumps there. Um, identified from fossil fragments on Timor Island, Bula's uh, Corphamus is an extinct species of what? How specific they don't want to, do they want me to be? Because clearly if I write animal, it's going to be wrong. Uh, dinosaur? But, I mean, all dinosaurs are extinct, so why would they say extinct? What if I say, like, ape? Because they have orangutans in Indonesia, right? So it's not implausible. Um, and that would be noteworthy, more than, like, an extinct species of butterfly or bird or something like that. Yeah, let's go with ape. Which Roman poet fought at the Battle of Philippi in 42 BC? Could be... BC. I'm not sure how to line up the dates of the poets with when they lived. Like Horace, Ovid, Virgil? Let's go with Ovid. Seems about right. Uh, which German company's electric piano was known to be used on Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven and the Beatles' I Am the Wars? I don't know. Um, Stein? Brenner? Sounds somewhat familiar. And a category that sits between VSOP and XO, what term is typically used for cognac that has been aged for more than six years? Um, okay, I'm just trying to see if these are Roman numerals. So V is 5 and X is 10. So could it be somewhere between like, uh, like VX? Or... Yeah, let's try VX, like, that's what, not correct Roman numeral usage, but it basically says what we're trying to say. Okay, there's a couple of more we have to fill out here, which I don't think anything pops in my head for, uh, but it's been 25 minutes, so let's try and finish this video. Uh, this is annoying, Jew of the Sea, ma. Like, Rosemary, I suppose, because it ends with ma. Um, Jew, Rosé, derives its name, yeah, so it derives its name, it doesn't mean the name actually legitimately is in Latin now, which is, uh, that was the base word for it. Okay, for what event would you employ the services of a Dwala event? Uh, what about...
Uh, let's say mountain climbing. No, it can't be mountain climbing because it's the Sherpas in mountain climbing. Um, caving, hiking, trekking. What a bent though. Jousting? No. Polo. Sounds like it could be. Sounds like it could be derived from um, a uh, Indian word. Uh, what type of building is known in Germany as a Wolkenkratzer? Hospital? I don't think it is, but whatever. It's a good guess. And what sign has been hit by John Deere, Lady Kravitz, and Tones and I? Um, see you again. No. I'm just trying to think that. Um, there's a couple of songs, one by John Denver and one by uh, Lenny Kravitz, which are stuck in my head. Um, see you again. Let's go for it. Is that the last one we were guessing? Cool. What are we looking here? I reckon 25. Sounds about right. There were some which were complete guesses. There were not really that many educated guesses, actually. It was either I knew them or I didn't. So let's see how we got on. Cool, 92 players have played this. Uh, 25 out of 50, but there might be a couple which uh, we get once the spelling is corrected. So, top score is 30 out of 50 so far. Okay, 25 out of 50 is about average. Uh, 30, 31st equal, there we go, uh, out of 85, which is not terrible. Let's see the scores. If we do it this way, then we can see uh, what the percentages that people scored were. Okay, so T was correct, red was correct, that was good, that was a good guess. Um, tennis, I, this was someone called Dana, who won the Eurovision Song Contest. Rocky Mountains, uh, the Invisible Man, that was, I was thinking of the Invisible Man, but um, couldn't think of it. <laughs> I mean, it was stuck in the back of my head somewhere. Uh, Bowie, okay, this fourth uh, horseman was Death, which is great. The East River was correct. Cats, Salem, this is Thor? I need to check this later because I think Odin might have been riding in a sleigh as well, or in a chariot as well, but I could be wrong. November is correct. The Jetsons, yes. Skating, yeah. I can picture the um, the painting now. Uh, it's a guy skating on the frozen uh, lake. Nice painting actually as well. Uh, Bernard Matthews, I wouldn't have got this, was the British Food Company. Three, Blackburn Rovers, Caffeine, Nabibia, Rosemary. Please don't with my gut with that one. Wall Street, Death of a Salesman. This was Voltaire, which was amazing. I'm pleased I didn't throw out a complete guess there. Um, baseball was correct. Excellent, that was an educated guess. ATB, uh, I've not heard of ATB. I'm sure he produces incredible music, uh, but I probably have not heard it. Polo, uh, it was actually Labour and Birth, which makes sense. Portugal, King Solomon's Mines. This was Bermuda, okay, so I wasn't a million miles away thinking it was in the Atlantic, just a lot more further west than I thought. Oh, it was Far Cry, okay, that's an um, excellent guess. I'm very happy with that guess. Only 20 out of 85% people got that. Skyscraper, makes sense. Fly away, okay. Um, I want to get away, I want to fly away. And this was the Deer Hunter, which... I'm banging my head thinking about now because it's so obvious in hindsight. Okay, this was Venus. Whatever, Mars was a guess. This was Sri Lanka. Okay, that's annoying. Should have gone with my gut there. It was a James. Uh, it was just James the Second, not James the Fourth. Uh, Hector's wife was Androchomy. Uh, this Ukrainian born Brazilian author is Claris Lispector. The Russian figure skater was Alexander Trusova. Only one person got that correct, so we can't feel too bad about getting that wrong. Same with this one, only 3 out of 85% of people got it, which was Mount Marcy. Uh, Tommaso Albanoni, Mason Crivelli was the perfume house. We're getting down into the really hard questions now. Uh, Israel City was Lod. Giant Rat, which nobody got. Horus, um, Fought at the Battle of Philippi. 
Uh, this was Horner and Napoleon Brandy. Okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, overall, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Uh, I want to start pushing up into the 30s um, for this kind of quiz, I think. Because uh, 25 is good, but um, there's still lots of areas of uh, things where I need to get better at. Um, but I'm pleased I can work some stuff out of my head as we go along. Anyway, guys, have a go yourself. Uh, the quiz will probably be up for another 36 hours after this video is posted. So um, have a go, see how you get on. And I'm sure some of you beat me. So congratulations. Put your, post your score in the comments below. Until later, kakiti Bye.